today's episode of Strictly Speaking. I'm Patty, and these are my beautiful co-hosts. This is Nikki and Carrie. Hey. Um, and today we're going to have a wonderful show. We're going to have three segments. Uh, the first one, Nikki's going to be telling us all about shopping. Uh, our favorite thing to do. I don't know many women that don't like to shop. So, uh, Nikki, yes. tell us your favorite way to shop for the holidays. Um, well. I mean, there's always multiple ways to shop. Online shopping is one. Uh, local shopping. I prefer to shop local. Um, local shopping, I just feel like you get more of a, a, a holiday vibe to me when you get in front of someone and they have like mm -hmm. holiday cheer. I mean, yes. you can go online for something. Yes. yes. <laughs> Where you go into their shop and they've got like, they've got the candles burning and they've got That's the right. candy That's and right. there's all the ornaments. You and know, the music. Right. And the music. Right. So yeah, it's just a different feel. That would, that would be my shop. I'm going to kind of, I have some suggestions for uh, local business owners um, because we're always up against everybody shopping online and losing a lot of business and, and um, because of that. So one thing that I offer at my shop, and it's, a, and it's worked out really good, uh, we can send a note to your favorite customers, to your best high dollar customers, and tell them, look, if you'll bring me a list, bring me your Christmas list, Leave it with me, give me three or four days on that list. Tell me how much you want to spend on each person. If you have an idea, that's fine. Leave it me for three or four days. I'll send you pictures, what I've picked for everybody. When you come back, I'll have it wrapped. And if you do, if you buy 10 gifts from me, you get 20% off. Uh, just a little something extra mm -hmm. uh, that you don't get online. You, come, right. you you know, you go in, you pick up that gift. It's already beautifully wrapped. You're on budget, on point. They have it. All you got to do is sign that card or hand right. them the cash. And you know, I think another good thing about shopping local as opposed to shopping online, you as a business owner, when these local organizations, nonprofits, who are they going to come to? Oh, they're every not gonna, day. They're not going to go to online companies, y'all. They're going to go to local business owners because it's local business owners that keep the community growing. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, there are two days where uh, it's shop local, right. keep the money at home. Uh, and I read a segment where they said that if everybody within your community would shop local as opposed to shopping online, mm -hmm. that it would bring in an average size town of 20 to 25,000 mm -hmm. people that would keep nearly $2 million within wow. that wow. neighborhood, yeah. within that community, mm -hmm. which is huge when you think about it. Right, and we're not knocking online shopping, y'all. I mean, no, I'm an Amazon There addict. are moments mm -hmm. that you have to go online to purchase things that you need like something that you've searched for for two weeks in your area. But you know, with the local shopping, you being a local business owner, you can attest to this, there's a lot of good qualities to that, a lot of good points. It creates jobs. Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. It creates it creates jobs. Our area needs more jobs to offer to people. And through the holidays, we pick up high school kids, college kids. Right. They come in, they do the wrapping. Uh, I know, now my shop is in Lexington, Tennessee, so I don't have a, a shop here in the area. But I know, you know, we offer uh, mold wine, hot, you know, the, 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 the hot tea thing. We offer hot chocolate. On special occasions, we offer mimosas for the, those that want them. Uh, we stay open on Thursday night until 8 o'clock. Awesome. Uh, give, give people, you know, some extra time. We give away door prizes, have door busters, you know, things to bring people in that you don't get. Right. And it's easy to make a return. Well, I will tell you, too, you know, Amazon Prime got the market. They got everybody, they branded themselves as the cheapest place to shop, and they kind of just ha have everybody in that same mindset. But if you go on and you start comparing prices, uh, the days of Amazon being the cheapest, right. it's not there. I'm telling no. you, if you go and you compare local to Amazon by the time you pay for shipping, they have got everybody in this mindset they're, they're still the cheapest right. They that's because that's the way they branded themselves. But if you start researching, and I would suggest research, that you will find that sometimes shopping local right. is cheaper. Statistics definitely show that. And another thing about shopping local, returns. 
Oh, oh yes, thank gosh. you. Have you ever tried to return something online? Yeah, you've it can got be a to, headache. You've, got, be a you've headache. got to get to the post office, or you've got to get to FedEx or UPS, and just let's be honest, we'd rather scream and claw yeah. our face. Well, than now a lot of people won't actually take returns; they make you do it in store credit. Well, I would much rather be able to go to the store throughout the year to you know, use my credit than have to go online and use that credit. Right. And I love, I love the customer service. Yes. I mean, the customer I mean, there is no customer service except for a voice when it, unless you call. If you're using the internet completely, you never even get to talk to somebody. But I love dealing with people one-on-one. -on -one. Well, you had a lot of tips on, on right. shopping local. Right. Tell us, tell us Read a few about that girl. Yeah. Okay. Well, now here we go. <laughs> okay. So, um, I totally prefer to shop local. I've told y'all that already. I work for a local company, so that is true to my heart Good. for every hundred dollars spent y'all roughly 68 to 73 of it returns to your local community to your local activity that's big that's huge that's back to the shop like we were talking about how many millions stay right. within right. the neighborhood and i know a lot of businesses offer and i do and i've been to a lot of businesses that do they have a customer rewards you can either sign in on an ipad and once you you know receive so many points or spend spend three hundred dollars you get 20 off or you get mm -hmm. you get discounts that's something they don't offer that's true online that's true. that's true well you had some tips about people some things that you can buy that are very cheap awesome. gifts for yeah. people because i know that money is a big issue for people because when you've got a big family like me where my sister tries to raise the community so she's got like 50 kids and literally and so i have to spend a lot of money at christmas and sometimes i'm thinking okay what can i get that's cheap that's still a cute gift something because right. i don't like to give something unless i would like it i'm not going to give you crap so, uh, but you've got some great ideas. So share and with us those ideas. And a lot of people ideas. don't like gift certificates because they don't want you to know how much you've spent on them. Exactly. That, uh, that's that's correct. Well, I think most everybody likes to save money. Very few people I know don't. Even doesn't matter how much money you have. Most people like to. And I think we have. It's gotten to the point we feel so obligated to get all these other gifts. So we're just going to start real quick. I made a trip to the Dollar Tree yesterday. I'm a big, big customer of the Dollar Tree. Okay, by the way, if y'all want to sponsor us, we're going to send this into the Dollar Tree executives because I'm going to put you over like a big dog today. Okay, <laughs> this is a beautiful Christmas mug. You can put fudge in that. You can put hot chocolate. It's a dollar. It's a dollar. This is shopping okay. on budget. Now, everybody's <laughs> heard of Elf on the Shelf. They have these Elf's on the Shelf. They have a boy and a girl. These are a dollar as opposed to what, $35? No, they're more than that. Oh, they heavens. 50, okay, 60. so you've got your little Elf on the Shelf doll there. Uh, Sunday school teachers, this is a great little felt, uh, a little gingerbread man that they can do a Sunday school project. It's a dollar. Okay. She has got great goodies. Okay. Now, yeah, you've, got a, you've got a school teacher, you know, a, a, a Sunday school teacher. You've got bath bombs. You've got a nice little uh, a puff there. Puffy eyes. You have readers. Wow. You have $4. A bag for a dollar, and you've got it. So, there's lots of ways to be frugal, and you can also keep some of these type things at your house. So, when you have people come in that brought gifts that you weren't prepared for. Or when you got a new dirty sand at work, or yes. a this party, so or this whatever. perfect. So, buying a great gift is not always about spending the most money. It's just not. You know, at this time of the year, though, talking about budgets and buying gifts, you can buy a nice gift. It don't have to be expensive. I mean, look right here. No, I mean, I can could totally get down with that. Totally, totally. I even love a bath bomb. Any female would. But I mean, it stresses a lot of people out, and that's something we're going to touch on on some, another show. So yes. y'all stay tuned for that. Yes. Oh, and this lovely table is compliments there you go. of the Dollar Tree minus the filler in the back. All of that came from the Dollar Beautiful. Tree. So there you go, Dollar Tree. Stay tuned for the next segment. Life shouldn't be measured by the number of breaths we take, but the moments that take our breath away. Hi, I'm Alan with Premium Productions here in Tupelo, and I'm here to capture all your special moments, whether it's your child's first steps, their senior portraits, or their wedding day. Premium Productions will keep the memory alive. Each and every photo session is customized to fit your exact needs. I will meet with you before the shoot to share ideas in order to create the perfect photo session for you. Call me to set up an appointment, 255-9991. 
255-955-9991. Primetime TV at affordable rates. Religious broadcasting, talk shows, reality TV, cooking shows, and more. Bring your broadcast to the premium network. We're reaching your target audience 365 days a year. The premium network is fast growing, covering Fulton, Tupelo, and West Point. Attractive rates seven days a week. Watch us on Comcast Channel 198. Get your broadcast on today. Call now, 662-255-9991. Hey, we're back for the second segment. We're going to be talking now about the holidays. We're going to be talking about family and how we can get in stressful situations. Right, girls? Yes. Who? Us? (laughs) Yeah, girl. No. We're going to be talking about taking control of the holidays and not let it take in, taking control of us. Exactly. Oh, absolutely. You know, and I think as women, uh, we we feel all the pressure because we want every toilet spick and span. You yep. know, we want every mirror perfect. You know, every crease has to be out of the sheets. But I'm going to tell you, as I've gotten older, and I am, I am the... The, the senior person in this group, uh, I have learned that there's things that you need to focus on and things that you just need to let yeah. it go. Don't let it go. Uh, you know, make sure everything's gone over, everything's in place. Uh, and if somebody is dumb enough to come in and run their finger over the top of the pictures, just tell them to get off their self, have a seat, have some eggnog. Be, yeah, have, be a done. Glass of wine. have a glass of wine. <laughs> you know, be done with it. Um, you know, and we always have those people that decide last minute they're going to come in out of town. You know, I would used to kill myself because don't we all have a bedroom or a room that we would die before we let everybody right. in? The one you lock the door. That's right. <laughs> yes, I mean we all have mm-hmm. it, uh, but that's where they've got to stay. So guess what? That's what the local motel six is for, girls. Let's just be honest. Uh, you know, I don't care if it's your mother-in-law, your daddy-in-law, your sister, aunt, or an uncle say, you know what, I am so sorry, but you know, we're renovating that room, and I hate this, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to get you a room, and then you can get up and come over here and have yeah. breakfast. You know, put a yellow con- under construction thing on the door. Who cares? They don't have to be right up under you right. every And minute. you know what, with those unruly people sometimes we have we all have those people in our family you just got to set aside your differences sometimes when it comes to holidays i mean that's the time to love one another be together just set them aside well sometimes we become the unruly people well this is true true. (laughs) because i have a situation i love my sisters i'm the baby of three girls and my oldest sister and i literally one christmas got into it over and my middle sister and all three of her kids remember this vividly we had lunch the other day they remember this they were like it was the funniest time but she well, we were arguing about whether the christmas present should be under the tree or pulled out from the tree which is so stupid trivial. and so trivial and we got so mad at each other we're like no it should be like this and they're like watching us go back and forth and it's like what does it really matter just open the gifts who cares but we do stress ourselves out and sometimes we just have to take a breath dealing with those people or even with ourselves because I know me I'm, I'm OCD I'm a perfectionist I mean just like today no, alone not. I mean I've still got my house cleaner still here cleaning in the house as we speak and I tend to want everything to be perfect I like to have a lot of holiday parties and I become that unruly person then that I just my husband's like oh you've got to just chill out it really doesn't matter right I think it's she's telling the truth yes I think <laughs> it's okay too though like when we have everybody at our house it's okay to go to another room 
take five or ten minutes for yourself. Take Amen. a breather. Take a breather. Absolutely. Or leave and go shopping Absolutely. like I do. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you know, when I go to my in-laws house and they're in Memphis, I mean, I love, right. I have the greatest in-laws ever. But sometimes, like, it just becomes so much in that house. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to run to TJ Maxx. I'll be right back. Yeah. Or just walk around the neighborhood for a second and take a breather. Because if we don't, we start letting everything get mm -hmm. on our nerves. And the next thing you know, we're not speaking to a family member for 10 years. That's right. You know, and it's just not worth it. We don't need to think about what. Don't sweat the small stuff. Who cares? Just have fun. And as we get older, like me, my, my daughter's 36. Okay, then you start to have to share your time. Okay, well, you're going to go Thanksgiving here and Christmas there. We're going to, you know, give you three hours on Christmas Eve, and then we've got, we have to go. My grandmother was one of the wisest women that I have ever known in my life. And her answer to the holidays was a big cup of eggnog, with the with plenty of nog in it and she'd say oh darling just go along and get along <laughs> it's okay just go along and get along and then would you would you like some more of that eggnog <laughs> and so you know we just have to go along and get along it's so much better just to step back not make a big issue out of something and just try to take the high but we road need to think about the what is the christmas spirit is all about and what the meaning of Christmas yeah. is. It's not about us, it's about giving. You know, mm -hmm. and I think that we need to think about the single people and the old people and the people that don't have anybody at Christmas. I mean, that's kind of sad to me. Right. Um, people that are in the nursing homes, take that time. I know one year with our kids, we decided that we weren't gonna do, um, or our whole family, we decided we weren't gonna do presents between each other and so what we did is we took that money and we went and either adopted a family or we took stuff to the nursing home so it's all about giving back and if we if we take ourselves out of it and we do those things we'll feel better about ourselves we're going to be helping other people right. and it's all about what the christmas we don't want to be grinches that needs you know? to be i think every family needs to have uh traditions uh and you know i never realized that when my mother passed away that my life would do a an about face. Uh, I, all of our traditions we had just kind of went away. Uh, so my daughter and I have a tradition. We get that angel off of the tree at the church, or the two angels, and we make it a big ordeal. We dress Christmas, we put our ugly Christmas sweaters on, you know, we go out, we have pancakes, you know, we have a tradition of shopping for these angel tree children, taking them home, wrapping them just as beautifully as we would one of our one of our own gifts. Right. Uh, so I think, you know, having a tradition of giving back. Now, I know my grandmother, we would start baking cakes the week before Christmas, and she would bake 30 cakes from scratch. Yes. And all of her friends that were a widow, you know, they would get like six, five or six slices of each cake. And then we would go to Memphis and she would buy the cheese. And then we would go to the liquor store and people would think, oh my heavens, those people have a drinking problem. Because she would get like 30 bottles of wine. And it would take us a week, my mother and I, a week to deliver the cake and the cheese and the wine. And she always extended them an invitation to come to our Christmas Eve dinner. Most of them didn't come, sometimes they did. So uh, I, I agree with Carrie. Get a tradition of giving back. But we have a big homeless population right yeah. here in Tupelo that are living under bridges. And my boys and I have talked about getting backpacks together of things. And it would be a great idea coming into the holidays because they're gonna be cold you know, blankets, food, gift cards, and having it in your car, having three or four, and then when you see one, you can just pull right up and hand it to them. And the boys love that, because every time I go by somebody and they've got the little, we'll work for food or whatever, my kids get so sad, and they're like, Mom, do you have any money? And I never have any cash. And so we thought, hey, what if we just right. put it in the car, have the stuff, then my boys know, and they can learn about giving back and you know being there for those people that don't have family. When there I, are so many people that don't have family. Jackson, we did, uh, there was a whole neighborhood. We did gallon Ziploc bags, Band-Aids, uh, Neosporin, power bars, things that uh, you know, and things that everybody needs. A toothbrush, deodorant, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. 
everything. And each of us would carry 10 gallon bags in our car. And when they would stop us, you know, and I even, if I had, you know, I'd put $3 in each bag or $5 in each bag. Uh, so that's a, that's another idea. And you know, we're spoiled. We're totally spoiled. A yes, friend of mine was telling me the other day that her employee, employer adopted a senior living community and they went to those people and they asked them, what do you want? What would be on your Christmas list? And they were asking for dish towels, y'all. They were asking mm -hmm. for dish liquid. They were asking for short sleeve t-shirts, things that we take for granted. Yeah, oh, and, and it like, made me feel guilty. It's like your angel tree. You know, these kids yes. are not asking for video games. Right. They're asking for socks and underwear. Yeah, it's like we just got to keep the stress low. Remember what the season is about. And it's a great time that if you've got an issue with a family member, make it right because we're not promised tomorrow. Absolutely. And one day we're going to be that old person that's going to want somebody to come and talk to us and be there and just spend time. So spend time with your families and literally just put the past aside and forgive each right. other. And if you can't work it out, just let it go. It's a let short, it it's a short just let it go. <laughs> just Enjoy the holidays. Christmas, Christmas is a time to love. That's exactly <laughs> right. Stay with us for our next segment. with our third segment and this is probably going to be my favorite patty is going to talk to us about decorating on a dime you guys are going to love this everybody likes to be saving money during the christmas holidays when you're decorating you can't break the bank she's going to help us out take it away patty okay good deal i always have people ask me how to decorate frugally uh, you know, we all have something that we don't like to spend money on. Nothing hurts my feelings worse than to go in and find a Christmas ornament that I like and the dang thing is, what, 15 bucks? <laughs> okay, how many thousands of dollars would it take to fill up a big tree? So, I did some decorating for some young couples last year and they had these nine foot trees and not one decoration and they had expectations in their mind they were going to do it for a hundred dollars. Well, uh, you know, we had, we had to straighten that out. So I found a way to do this, and the earlier segments we were talking about my favorite place, which is the Dollar Tree, and we're gonna remind you about how much uh, promo we're giving you on this. Okay, but anyway, you know, a tree takes up a whole lot of room, so these little signs are such a big thing now uh, in decorating. You can position this in the tree and you can wrap the limbs around it because they all about give. And see, that takes up a big portion of the tree, but it's also decorative and really cute as opposed to having to hang it. Uh, and, and, and this first tree we're going to do is kind of a, a retro tree. I can remember having this foil stuff as a little girl and thinking it was wonderful. Then we went through a period where it was tacky and we didn't like it. Well, guess what? It's back. So we have this gorgeous ornament here. We have the... That's cute. Oh, yeah. We have the ball. And I have a 14-foot tree because my ceilings are vaulted. So I... Can this you is a lot of filler. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the, the cute, cute little Santa's hat. Um, we have the, the, the sleigh with oh, this little cute. sign that we just stick in it like this. 
Uh-huh. And look at this little bucket. I did this last year on the tray at my shop. Let me see that. Uh, yeah, it's a, cute, uh -huh. it's a little Santa's bucket. And I just put the Christmas tree in there crooked. So what you do is you come underneath and you wrap those limbs around it and you put this little bucket in the tree. So that. you're filling up a lot of space and giving it a lot of character. Moving right along, you have the bell. All of their ribbon is a dollar. This cute little thing right here. And this is a good idea. You can always put an ornament back to one of those mugs that we were talking about. You can always add that to it as a great gift. And ornament swaps. A lot of people do oh, ornament yeah. swaps. Oh, yes. And that'd be a great place. I mean, there's a bunch of cute ones. Oh, really, really cute. Now, I'll tell you something. I know some families that do for Thanksgiving. What they do is give each other, everybody that has a place at the table, they give a Christmas ornament. So that they can put on the tree. So this would be oh, and a little. This is a oh, little reindeer. That's, that's really cute. And then you have a garland here. I mean, like how cute is that? I mean, it's pretty so cute. You know, this might make who knows? It might make a really great necklace. <laughs> oh my gosh! You know, when you're trying to be on an ugly Christmas. That's right. Weather. Yes, this would be a good ugly decoration. Show. So this is a good decoration. Um, another idea for this is we're going to move on from a little retro tree here. Everybody has a hard time with having enough play settings. And, you know, I hate to... Okay, every now and then plastic plates and paper plates, they're okay. But it doesn't take the place of having a set table. A nice set. So anyway, I'm going to point out here, this place setting in the center all came from the Dollar Tree also. The charger was a dollar. Is that glass? And it's glass, it's glass people. It's glass. The the t the plate, and they'll they'll you know come in on it and show you the close up of it. Has holly around it. It's a glass plate. The glasses, the wine glass and the tea glass, are glass. And then we have the little frame. You can spray that frame gold or silver or red, whatever color you want, and make a name plate. Oh, for Christmas parties. Yeah. For a Christmas party. Right. And you know, this plate looks just like, what is that brand? Lennox. Lennox. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you go to Belk or somewhere like that, and those plates are like $20 a piece. This is a dollar, and it looks the same, people. So that whole setting cost. Uh, so you've got one, two, you've got $4. Wow. $5 <laughs> with the name place. And what I've done with the ribbon is taken two coordinating ribbons. And I'm going to slide right here and to show you all I did was take this and just fold that under right there and it gives it a little bit of something, a little something extra. So anyway, and my daughter when she was little she couldn't say plastic. So she'd say, Mama, that is not plastic. So girls and boys, those plates are not plastic. And neither are the glasses. I love it. And if you hadn't figured out, she is like Santa right now, and we're the helper rangers. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, and these are, and I put From these, the Dollar Tree, by right, the way. Right. Yes, there you go. Uh, and you can see the ribbon that I have in here. You can also run this ribbon, two or three different types of coordinating ribbon, down the center of your table for a runner. And I have also picked up these mirrors that could go right down the center, say, these are plastic, but nobody knows. So you could leave them. They have a little bit of gold on them. Here, Terry, I'm going to let you put that on that side. Pull the, the back toward me. Oh, oh, you could spray these gold to match. And then this is what you could do. You could do your oh, candles. That's your candles. And then you have a centerpiece going right down the middle. Well, isn't that just fancy? So, so you know... Uh, Four dollars, and most people wouldn't need the wine glass, so you could say three dollars, eight, three eighths or twenty-four. So you could have an eight-place setting that looks just like this for twenty-five dollars. So for twenty-five dollars of everything on this table that you got at the Dollar Tree under five dollars eat per item. No, everything on this table a costs dollar? one dollar. Yeah, Dollar Tree, it's the a dollar. Wine, that shop. The wine the glass right was there. one dollar. The gla wow. tea glass was one dollar. Everything is was one dollar. That's amazing. And this whole thing was done from, besides the filler balls, from the Dollar Tree. I was amazed. She, This was my dough bowl that I was on my table and she decorated with Dollar Tree stuff. And I'm like, and see, oh these little These little canvas uh, things are so big right now. And you just have to think out of the box, let your imagination run a little wild with you, right. and just start playing with it mm -hmm. and sticking things up. And you know, you know something else you can do that costs nothing? 
go out in your yard and get sticks and yes. branches and I love to do and that. And you can whitewash those if you have a magnolia tree or anybody has. Mm -hmm. I have a five in my shop yard. People come in by the droves. They spray those gold. They make wreaths. Right. So you have to let your imagination go wild. But you can see what all you can do from the dollar. Come colors. see this side. This is my, I love oh, these I love colors. This. Okay, this is everything in my house is white and gray. So this is another type of tree. If you're, uh, you could do this on a white tree. You could do it on a green tree. A tree with, uh, oh gosh, the snow on it. This is just one of the little Christmas That's trees. So a dollar, and you would actually place this in the tree. It has, you can see underneath, it has all the little ribbing, and wrap the wrap the lens around it, and there you go. It's in the tree. Have a wreath in the tree. So, so cute. And she didn't even mention these books came from oh, the yeah. Dollar Tree and we chalk painted those. Oh, wow. I have them all over awesome. my house, not just for Christmas, but just if you need things to stack things up on or anything. So, and people and go, oh, those are so paint. cute. We chalk painted them. These were a dollar hardbacks. We bought the chalk, the Waverly chalk paint at Walmart and mm -hmm. did those. And you could do some for Christmas, get some of the Christmas stamps. Just a few That is my things. favorite ornament. <gasps> the angel's wings. Turn it around this. and see those. Look. Oh. I mean, it's got the fur, but look at that. That is so pretty. You have the little reindeer, deer, the snowflake that's double-sided. There are a dozen of these little foam snowflakes, snowflakes a dozen for a dollar. Here's your, your mirror, your other, your other, you have, you have the little chapel. So you have They're not cheap looking. I mean, these no, are like not. legit ornaments guys i mean it's not i mean do you think this looks cheap no it looks amazing if we hadn't told you it was the dollar tree you would have known so, so it's very possible to have to, to look very elegant to look like you have a very expensive uh, vignette on your table or a very expensive tree without actually having a very expensive and patty's tree. available for anybody that wants to start <laughs> to come decorate she decorated my entire house so when we did this last year I did a tree and tied the tree was from Walmart all the decorations were from the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Trees within 70 miles of my house sold out because wow, people wow. had no clue so they had no clue what they could do with this amount of money so I think we've given props to shopping frugal if you take the time you can do it and have a wonderful holiday and it not put you in the red. Happy holidays, Merry everybody. Christmas. I'm Strictly Speaking. Follow along. <laughs>